three kilo tin of Heinz beans and I will be carrying it. We're doing it barefoot. The skinwalkers know I have beans out here. Oh. <laughs> I just hope these beans don't explode out my bum. Who's gonna carry the beans? More hills. Are you not entertained? Oh yeah. Wouldn't have it any other way. Mmm. Eating beans. Very cold last night. <laughs> if it rains, that would really make things <laughs> really bad. It's raining now. It's hard right now to feel optimistic or happy. <laughs> Hello there, and welcome to the Barrington Tops National Park. This is a beautiful area here in New South Wales, Australia, and I am going to walk to the tallest peak to the summit of Mount Barrington today and camp there overnight. It's gonna be beautiful. It's a very steep climb. I think the total loop is 35 kilometers. Today there's like 12 kilometers directly uphill. It's a grade four, I think. You can kind of see maybe here, it just goes up. Yeah, it should be really lovely. It's a beautiful day. There's a fire ban, so I won't be able to have a campfire tonight, but that's okay. I am more or less going by myself, not completely alone. I am joined in good company with my sole source of sustenance for the trip, which is a three kilo tin of Heinz beans. Mmm, baked beans in a deliciously rich tomato sauce. Whew. Lucky me. It is quite heavy. <laughs> and I will be carrying it in my hand or with my arm the whole time. Oh, this is steep. Oh, this is steep. It's 11 a.m. I'm hoping to get to the summit of Mount Barrington within, oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. I don't know if I can solve this problem. I'm hoping to get to the summit of Mount Barrington in about five hours. So around 4 p.m. I need to get there before dark so I can set up camp. And we're just gonna cruise along. Probably take a lunch break at some point. Break the seal on the almighty vessel. I'm already pretty puffed. Look how steep this is. Just go straight up. Hoping to see some beautiful views and maybe a little bit of local wildlife. Hopefully no snakes or at least none directly under my feet because we're doing it barefoot. Whew. My pack is quite heavy. I've got five kilos of water, a sleeping bag, uh, an ultralight tent, yoga mat, and some camera gear. So it's gonna be a lot to lug up this 12 kilometer climb. As you can see, I'm already a little out of breath. But we got the fuel we need. We're gonna make it. We've lost the shirt because it's bloody hot. I'm working up a sweat. <laughs> it's just beautiful out here. It's so green and lush. I'm quite enjoying myself so far, apart from the now becoming more and more significant burden of this massive tin of beans. But you know, when we crack that baby open and sip that sweet nectar, oh, it's so gonna be worth it. I like getting out and doing stuff like this, even if by myself. This stuff feels real. Really feels like life. Strange sounds in the forest. Hmm. La la la. <laughs> the skinwalkers know I have beans out here. <laughs> Let's keep a watch for the snakes, drop bears, skinwalkers, and keep going. We've started to get a little bit higher up and the wind through the trees up here sounds like the ocean. I don't think this little GoPro mic will be able to really do it any justice, but it sounds amazing.
I've been taking lots of little videos and stopping and filming things and taking my time and then I just checked my map and I'm like a quarter of the way to the halfway point. <laughs> So I think for this next little part, I'm gonna stop fiddling with all my toys and actually get some kilometers under my belt so we don't have to set up camp in the dark or navigate this path in the dark. That would be a little bit spooky. This tin of beans I'm lugging up these hills is heavy. It makes me feel like I'm Frodo from Lord of the Rings and I'm taking this thing up to Mount Barrington to throw it into the fire. Destroy it. Throw it into the fire. Destroy it. <laughs> Pretty rocky section here and steep too. Not so nice underfoot. Couple of sharp ones poking through. Yeesh. We gonna make it. Ain't no little rock gonna slow me down. There be some dark clouds a brewing overhead. Uh oh. Hopefully it doesn't shite down on me. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. <laughs> I've settled into a good rhythm here of just kind of plodding along. It's very delicate footwork because there's a couple big nasty sharp rocks and sticks. Well, a couple, they're bloody everywhere. You gotta be real careful. Look at this guy here, this is perfect, see? Boom, that's safe. I'm about halfway done with the climbing. Once I get to the top of this trail, it kind of follows the ridge lines around. So I've got another, I reckon two and a half, three hours of walking uphill. And man, I'm hungry. I think it's time for a lunch break soon. I'm gonna wait for a little nice clearing and set myself up an absolutely gourmet meal. Mmm, it's gonna be divine. All you foodies are gonna be so mighty jealous, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm starving and I think it's time for lunch. This looks like a nice place. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> have I got something special planned. Yes, sir. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I got a real hankering for something specific for lunch. I'm not really sure what I... <clears throat> yeah, boy. <laughs> You might think it's as simple as just putting a hole in the top and ripping the thing open, but it ain't. I've been carrying this like this and like this a lot. So I can't just cut the whole top open because it's really a pain in the ass to carry like this. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'll cut just a little hole here and make like a little opening. So when I'm holding it like this, it can stay upright. Same as this way. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's not mess this up. Small hole. Oh, seal broken. Okay, I kind of feel like that's about as much as I want to open it. Oh, smells like beans, boy. <laughs> Come on. Oh, she's full to the brim. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Little taste test. Oh! I should be able to get a spoon in there, I reckon. I think that'll work. Yum yum, delicious time. Mm. I'm here for my helping. Oh, that's perfect. Mm. Just finished lunch. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling too optimistic about the beans only diet. The tomato sauce was super rich and I ended up kind of starting to spit the sauce out and only eat the beans. And after like 10 minutes of doing that, I don't really know how many beans or how much nutrition I actually got, but hey, we're gonna work with what we've got and we're gonna stay positive. <laughs> Check it out, there's the hole in the top of the beans. The bean juice kind of spilling on you is really not great. It's very sticky and yeah, it's just like a shit vibe. If you cop a little bean juice on the skin, no good. And we're about three hours into the hike and just over halfway of this 
big uphill section to get to the kind of mountain peaks. So I'm just gonna knuckle down, push through. It's two o'clock now, so there's only about four and a half hours of usable light left. So better get going. My stomach's rumbling a little bit since lunch. It's kind of rolling around and gurgling. I really hope the poop lords do not bless me with a hasty evacuation. This is not the time, nor the place. I was really betting on the fact that I could just hold my poop for like these two days I'm out here. I've got a little bit of tissue paper, but no shovel. And I got dinner and brekkie to go on the beans, maybe lunch tomorrow. Pray for me. <laughs> my feet are starting to get a little tender as well. You know, they're pretty tough because I never wear shoes, but every now and then you kind of stand on a really sharp stick and it just pokes you raw a little and you go, ooh, and then you're just a little bit more kind of wounded going forward. All I eat is beans and that's fine by me. I will eat my beans and I'll ask for more, please. All I eat is beans cause they're yum, yum, yum. I just hope these beans don't explode out my bum. gonna carry the beans they don't know me son let's go we made it we made it to the top of the climb I believe Carey's Peak which I believe is on the way to the peak we're going to be sleeping on Lagoon Pinch Pitch uh, 10 kilometers that way <laughs> 10 kilometers easy peak I say oh. <laughs> back up more hills more hills to go lucky me more hills to climb perfect what's that another hill perfect mm. Mmm, the only thing other than more bean juice I want is more hills! <sighs> Alright. Carrie's Trail Peak up ahead. <sighs> and Carrie's Peak this way too. So hopefully we're more or less on the top of this mountain range now. And there's not too much more uphill because the uphill back there was rocky and hard on the feet and steep i think we're more or less at the highest altitude we'll reach today given the peak is just ahead and then mount barrington summit is just ahead over that beyond that so should be smooth sailing from this point forward for the rest of the day still a fair bit of ground to cover it's not uphill but i think there's another 10 k's or so today We've made it to the first of the two peaks. Carey's Peak. This way. Gonna go and check it out quick. Mmm, forbidden fruit. Shall I have a taste? No. I have my food. It goes downhill. Which means you have to come back uphill. Sorry, Carey's Peak. Not today. Not for me. No more unnecessary hills, I say. So having left Carey's Peak behind, we're on this trail between the two and it's very hilly. It's up and down and the ground is really rough. My feet are sensitive after the whole day of walking, but this ground in particular has been really bad. Loads of sharp sticks and really awful rocks. <sighs> But <laughs> we push forward. <laughs> oh, 
I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm really hungry and all I've got is beans. <laughs> oh. The worst part about the beans so far is the smell. Since I've cracked them open, there's just this constant drift waft of just bean juice coming up to my nose. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, look how terrible this ground is. It's so, so many sharp stickies. Ah. Uh. Oh. There's plenty of evidence of fire being here. A lot of burnt out trees, black ones, a lot of very young trees. I wonder if the uh, 2019 fires that rocked Australia, those apocalyptic fires, I wonder if they ripped through here. Looks like it. Would you like some beans, Mr. Kangaroo? Maybe not. <laughs> it's crazy how much the environment has changed. Earlier today, it was like beautiful, almost like tropical rainforest. And out here, it's just hardy Aussie bush. Mostly just gum trees. <sighs> crazy. Man, I'm powering along at the moment. You gotta believe, man. Who's gonna carry the beans, son? <laughs> I'm gonna carry the beans. <laughs> I don't really have a good reason why, but I'm gonna carry the beans. <laughs> so from where I skipped Carey's Peak, I'm about halfway. <laughs> Damn, it's a big push, this last push. Oh, fuck. This road is hard. It's so rocky and just gnarly. I'm kind of hopping like I'm walking on coals. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Better, and I know you could, if you truly would, you would take my beans and you'd run away for good, but you won't. <sighs> you won't touch my beans. It's after five now. Oh, I've got just over an hour of sunlight, I think. It's starting to get quite dark. I'm really, really looking forward to getting to my campsite, setting up my tent, getting a little bed, and just tucking into some beans, let's be honest. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Just the weight of the pack and how awful the ground is to be walking on. Two things I didn't quite anticipate would uh, compound to just bring about such difficulty. <laughs> I think tomorrow is going to be a doozy of a day as well, which should be fun, but a good night's sleep and I will be ready. Update, I've slowed down a lot. Now I've just got a left, right, left grueling persistence to just get this last bit done. I essentially skipped lunch because I had too much tomato sauce at first and it made eating the, the beans really difficult. So I think I'm just like totally out of energy. I don't actually have any other food on me. Like I didn't bring any snacks. Or I just literally have the beans. Uh, yeah. I'm expecting it to get quite cold tonight. I've got some thermals to wear inside my sleeping bag. Hopefully that'll do the job. But we are on top of a mountain. I'll keep on going. Singing. Oh, God. Oh. Don't have it like I did a few hours ago. Vibes are mm, gray and grim. What do you mean? Didn't you ask for this? Didn't you bring yourself out here? Is this not what you wanted? Are you not entertained? No, not really. This looks like the last stretch. The map says this is Mount Barrington up ahead. And there's a cell tower that's camped for the night just up there and lucky me just in time for a sunset too. Ew. I 
am very much ready to put this bag down. Uh, but salvation awaits just beyond the horizon. Thank fuck. We are at some kind of place. A couple of random things up here. And a valley down there. The view's a little obscured, so not the greatest, but hey, it'll do for me. The grass is really soft here. It's in these big patches. They're almost like lovely little clouds on my sore feet. And I think they'll make super, it'll make a super, super soft bed underneath me tonight. So hopefully I can get some sleep. Time to get camp set up, methinks. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. That's good. Oh, what a happy surprise. I'm no less tired. I'm no more fed than I was when I got here, but my morale is significantly improved since I've assembled my Taj Mahal. I've put it on this grass and it is so soft. It's almost probably, probably softer than my mattress back at home. It's gonna be a nice little time in here. I just hope I can keep warm. The sunset's like 10 out of 10 beautiful, like stunning. And there's all these trees in the way. Bruh! <laughs> Got to get a quick dinner in before the light goes. So here's my new method of uh, bean eating. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? The beans are hard to stomach. I keep gagging. Just not a very pleasant experience. Evacuating all the tomato juice and then chewing up and swallowing the beans. They're a bit soft and mushy. It gets all over your mouth. All of it's just not very pleasant. Got ya! <laughs> Mmm! Yum! <laughs> wow. Wouldn't have it any other way. Mmm! Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. That's good. Look at this face. You think this is the face of a liar? Mmm! Oh! I feel like I haven't really eaten that much in terms of, like, total mass. But... I've had my fill. It's getting cold. I think it's time for bed. Hoping my beans will be safe. They're tucked away here in the corner. They may be hard to stomach and I may be struggling to eat them, but they are mine. They are sacred and a little mushy and... Oh. <laughs> Eating beans every day. Eating beans, you know what they say. Eating beans till I die. Eating beans till I cry and I cry. Oh, I weep. I think about it when I sleep. When I get up, what's the food? What am I gonna have? 
It's gonna be beans. It's gonna be beans in the morning. I'll be eating beans again in the morning. Today was long. I think I must have got here around 6.30 because it's 7.30 now. I think I'm probably going to get up bloody early. That's the plan. It looks like I've got a fairly big walk in the morning to get back to the corker track and then head back downhill the way I came. So I think we'll be up early and off to it. I'm so exhausted. I'm going to read a little Lord of the Rings before I go to bed. That's a nice way to finish the day. Probably like asleep at 8 and up at Maybe five. Can't wait for breakfast. I hope I don't gas myself to death in this tent tonight. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> Good night. I didn't end up getting out and about at five. It was very very cold last night a few degrees below fucking freezing i believe i've got thermals top and bottom and a thermal sleeping bag and i was still cold cold it's hard to sleep when you're cold so didn't end up getting much of it i decided not to get started before the sun uh, had risen because of how cold it was and although at 6 a.m now it is starting to get light it's still freezing mm. I do, however, have a lot of ground to cover and a lot of exposed ground too. So I should get going. Just five more minutes, mum. Oh. oh. So the sun, I guess the sun is up, but it's super gray and cold. How bleak it looks out here. Be wee little abode. <laughs> ah! It's freezing. I better get walking. That'll warm me up. I'm busy. I'm busy unpacking my tent. And the material is so cold. My hands are like. I'm struggling, I've got no dexterity in the, in the fingers. It's spring here in Australia. I wasn't really expecting it to be this cold. Whew. I'm gonna finish packing up. I'm gonna get on our way. Oh. All right, we're underway again. <laughs> I've got on all the clothes I bought with me. I've got my thermals on and then my shirt and shorts over top and I'm still bloody cold. My fingers have gone completely numb. I can't feel them anymore. So I'm hoping a little bit of hiking and some uh, good spirits should warm us back up. Good thing I got this tin of beans with me. I wouldn't want too light a burden on this walk here. Otherwise I might not work up the heat I need. Just really hoping it doesn't rain. Ah. All right, we've got kilometers to do today. Lots of them. Whew. I've been walking for maybe like 20 minutes now and I feel like I've kind of stabilized. My body's warm again and my hands most importantly have some blood back in them. It's looking a bit gray up ahead. I don't know if it's threatening to rain. If it rains, that would really make things <laughs> really bad. So I'm kind of keen to just get out of this mountainous area and back onto the Corker Trail heading downhill as soon as possible. Oh, feeling good. Spirits are high, ground's not too hard. Let's get it done. It's lightly raining, which isn't great. Just kind of spitting at the moment, which I can deal with, but if it gets any more, I'll probably have to maybe take out the rainproof coat for my tent and wrap myself in it somehow. Because I'm thinking in this temperature of air, if I was to get really wet, it would be very difficult to keep warm. Just gonna hope and pray it doesn't grow to be any more than this little spittle. Still a long way to go. <laughs> Ground is good though, still. This uh, red earth, red Aussie earth is quite nice walking. Not too many sticks or stones. The natural enemy of the barefoot bushwalker. Shh. 
shitty gravel roads. It's been this lovely red earth for so long, I suppose I couldn't have it the whole way. Oh yeah, this is much worse. So I've been walking, walking for about an hour and a half this morning, and I believe we're just about to pull up to the Junction Pools, which is kind of the first notable site on the route back home on this loop. I'm looking forward to it. I met a dude on the road back there. I didn't get it on film, but he had just been fishing there. So maybe we'll see some fish. Maybe I can catch one with my bare hands. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet flush. It's a draw. <laughs> Another three, four hundred and we should be there. Woo. A little bit of infrastructure here. I'm imagining this is the Junction Pools campground. We're going to keep pushing forward. You actually have to ford the river to, to keep pushing on. So go have a little rest down there, I think. Maybe crack into some brekkie. I'm pretty excited actually for breakfast. I packed something um, just especially for this moment, knowing I'd probably be quite tired and, you know, really needing some good, some good wholesome sustenance and food. So can't wait to show you what I got. You'll be surprised. We made it. We made it to the junction pools. It's quite nice here. Lots of trees and this little kind of creek that flows through. I was thinking of maybe filling up my water here, but it looks a little still. I'll probably have enough considering it's so overcast and gray and ominous still. Uh-oh. Looks like a nice little spot to rehydrate, take a rest, have some brekkie, and uh, then we'll push forward. <sighs> yum yum. Ooh wee. Icy cold. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. There's a very fine rain, almost just like a mist that's descending and it's really cold. It gets on your hands and then evaporates and just freezes your hands. So all my fingers have gone like dumb. Can't feel them. I had my brekkie beans. It was good actually. <laughs> I was kind of thinking I was gonna like really suffer through it, but I ate it up. I ate a lot, it was good. I'm pretty determined to just push through now, get back to the Corker Trail, get back down to the car kind of stop as minimally as possible, just push through. <sighs> it's raining now. It's a very fine rain, but it's relentless and everything is getting soaked. So I've had to put my cinema camera away in its little dry bag and we'll be going GoPro. GoPro footage only until we can crack out of this weather system. I suspect it's just kind of lingering around the summit of these peaks. And once we're on the Corker Trail and start descending altitude, we might crack through it. One can only hope. <sighs> Alas, we press on. Wow. Oh, so the rain has relented temporarily. And uh, man, <laughs> I'm soaked. I'm not as cold as I thought I would be though. I'm moving pretty fast and climbing the hills that are in here pretty hard. That's keeping me warm. I've got some beans in my belly to fuel me. So I'm managing to produce enough heat, but geez, look at this. It's just whoa, misty, foggy. Everything's damp and soaked, freezing cold. <laughs> anyway, we're making good time and good progress. We should be at the next campsite within half an hour and then 
it won't be too long from there to the Corker Trail and back down the hill. The massive hill from yesterday. Yo! Feeling good. Feeling very optimistic despite the conditions, which is great. Onwards! We're here at the, uh, the Black Swamp Campground. I do kind of wish that there was a track out into the swamp that I could walk and go deep into it and have a look. Um, but walking on it just to get that last shot, it's so like squishy and it's a bizarre terrain. I don't think I've ever walked in anything like it before. You put a foot on something that looks solid and you the kind of ground just compresses underneath you. And you don't quite sink into mush, but it just kind of, the whole thing is fluid, bizarre, super cool. I think I'll just consider my brief passing by sufficient and we shall continue. I'm in very good spirits at the moment. Checking out the swamp was really cool and really boosted my morale. I think, yeah, a shorter distance than from the junction pools to here before I'm back at the top of the Corker Trail and I'm doing that big descent. <sighs> Another good part about walking barefoot is because it's so cold, my feet have gone almost completely numb and all the little spiky ouchy bits that would usually hurt aren't as bad. They'll just hurt later. <laughs> just back behind me there is <clears throat> the split to go to Casey's Peak that we took yesterday. So now we are officially doubling back on ground I have trod. And I can't find my keys so for my car. So I'm hoping they're gonna be along this trail somewhere, <laughs> if not at the car itself. But I forgot what I did with them, as always. I forget everything. Now this has become really, really unpleasant terrain to be walking on. Very slow going. And I've got a, I've got a buggered left knee from an old rugby injury. I twisted it the other week at Muay Thai and it's starting to, it's starting to mm, talk a little. It's not quite singing. Hopefully this downhill is friendly to it and we can get back on two legs. Otherwise, I guess I'll just chop it off and hop. The descent begins <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> we are properly back on the Corker Trail now. It's quite nice. The air is very cool and it's cloudy overhead. So it's, it's not a sweat fest like it was yesterday. My left knee is still talking and I've employed a walking stick. That's a terrible injury, this left knee thing. I'm not being soft about it, it's bloody sore. It's worse on the steepest sections for some reason, which means slow going. <laughs> I'll be going at about the same pace I came up yesterday, I think. So I'm pretty content to just push through and just get it done. My cinema camera's packed away. And that's it. I'm just going to eat the K's one, <laughs> one step at a time. Ra -da 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 -da. Ra da 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 ra da ra da 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 We're now over halfway back down the Corker Trail and I guess it makes sense because it's downhill but it's so much easier than yesterday. <laughs> okay, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much perfect weather for this last day. I haven't been too hard on the water. It's really nice and cool. I mean, I've got two sets of thermals on and I've been walking and I'm not overheating, so. But yeah, it's just lovely. And I'm really getting to soak up some of the sights this way down. Look how pretty this is. I suspect there's so much leaf litter on the ground because the wind last night, there was a bit of a storm that blew through. It was super windy. Feeling very blessed to be able to be doing this on my Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'm gonna keep pushing. See you at the bottom. This part here is so steep up there, down there, and so slow going. I can't use the walking stick with the GoPro on, but oh man, I'm inching down this part of the climb. Oh man, it was honestly easier coming up these super steep sections than it is easier going down. I can't have it all. 
We're getting close now. I'd say I'm oh, nearly 75% of the way down the Corker Trail. We're close, relatively. Oh, I'm really struggling though. My knee is really sore and I just feel very tired. The beans haven't really been filling me up and I can't go near them, man. <laughs> the smell is killing me. I can't go near them. Every time I look down into this tin and see them sloshing around in there, I'm just like, <laughs> I just have this anxiety. I've left my keys somewhere behind me and I'm gonna get to my car and I'm not gonna be able to get in. That would just be, oh, that would be a doozy. We'll see when we get there. Oh, my knee that was talking is now starting to sing a little. And it's very, very sore, particularly on these downhills. Gotta take them like inch by inch. Yeah, we still got a little way to go. And I think it's pretty steep as well, this last bit, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm just dreaming right now of honestly like a cafe feed or a pub feed and a warm bath at home tonight. Oh, and a joint. Oh, holy dooly. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about to get me through this last bit. <laughs> All right. Oh, I best get this walking stick back in action. Walking sideways seems to help a little. This is currently my pace down these hills. I can do this one without the stick, which is nice. It's nearly two, so I've been hiking since seven, so almost seven hours. And my knee is just gone. It's completely gone. If it was singing earlier, it is now wailing. I'm close to the end, but at this rate, every single inch is just excruciating. <laughs> what I would do, I keep fantasizing about having a mountain bike and just like rolling down this hill on the brakes. That would be so good. Even this hill in front of me here, it might not look steep, but it is. I'm just dreading it. I'm dreading the thought of it. Oh. And once that one's done, there's probably like maybe another 20 and then I'm done. Oh. It's hard right now to feel optimistic or happy. I just feel miserable. My knee is so sore. <sighs> yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, my GoPro's out of battery, so I'm using my phone. Look what I just stumbled across. <gasps> It's my car keys. If I had got to my car and not found them on the way, man, that is literally, that's the worst case scenario. Spare getting bitten by like a fucking dead, venomous deadly snake. Having found them and knowing that my keys are at my car, I feel a lot better despite all the rest of it. It's just lying in the middle of the trail here. Man, I'm a fool to have let that happen. Jeez. Thank you, Lord! I am so... I'm so emotional. Like, I could cry. I'm so relieved that my keys... I found them. Like, I was just thinking... Oh, man. If they weren't in my shock, man. Oh, that would have been so fucked. That would have been so bad. Considering I can barely walk at the moment. Oh, it would have taken me so long to walk to find somebody because I'm pretty remote. Oh. oh, knowing that I'm gonna get to my car and be able to drive away and go get some food and get home. Oh. Thank the Lord, for real, for real. Thank the Lord. Whew. This last little stretch doesn't seem so bad now. Still in a bit of pain. But there's a, there's a hope. There's a promise of salvation. Four city, yes. Two, three, four. We are gonna make it. Two, three, four. Is it yes?
two, three, four. We're gonna make it. Two, three, four. Yes. Two, three, four. We're gonna make it. Two, three, four. Yes. Two, three, four. We're gonna make it. Two, three, four. I've had that mantra on repeat for about half an hour, I think. Especially down the hills. Oh, and we did indeed make it. Whew. I am super stoked to be here right now. Oh my gosh. This has probably been one of the hardest challenges I've undertaken for myself in my life. Like on my own accord. I am so hungry. I'm so exhausted. My leg is in agony. <laughs> and I'm stoked I've gotten to the end. That was a hectic overnight trip. That was hectic. Jeez. I'm going to cruise on out of here. Oh, I'm going to go get some delicious food that somebody is going to cook for me at a restaurant. Oh, I'm going to have a shower and smoke a joint tonight. Oh! We did it. We made it with the tin of beans the whole way there and back. I don't really know why, but we did. And check it out, we didn't spill any. We didn't spill any unnecessarily. Just the ones I ate. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching if you made it this far. See you in the next one.